Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sir Mark Paul, and welcome to another video here in Teacher Paul's Classroom. So for today's video, I will teach you how to compute the weighted mean using Microsoft Excel. But before that, do not forget to click subscribe, ring the notification bell, like and share this video for more educational content. So let's go! So as you can see on my screen, I am using Microsoft Excel to compute the weighted mean and the mean for these particular examples of set of data. So the first thing that you need to consider is to click the cell where you want the weighted mean to appear and then go on the formula bar and code the uh, equal sign. Okay, also encode two parentheses. And we should start first with the highest of the Likert scale, which is 4. Or you may also start with 1 as the lowest, but basically I'm always starting from left to right. So we're going to encode 4. And then asterisk as a multiplication sign in Excel. And then click the uh, responses for that particular statement number under 4. So I will click B3 cell and then encode plus sign and then let us encode 3 and then multiply again that number to the response under it so that's c3 encode another plus sign and then encode 2 multiply that to the cell below and then last plus sign and after you've encoded the last plus sign, okay, you need to basically put the, the cell E3. Okay, so why we didn't put 1 multiply to E3? Because of course, whatever you multiply to 1, that will be still the result. So instead of multiplying that by 1, I've just included that as the particular number. So after doing that, you need to close the parentheses and then put a slash as your uh, division sign. And then the next number that you will put, so in this case 30, that is the total number of respondents for the study. So when you add 24, 4, and 1, the total number is 30 and so on and so forth for statement number 2 to 10. They are all 30 because 30 respondents answered the survey, for example. And then after putting 30, you need to close the parentheses and then hit enter. So as you can see, the weighted mean for statement number 1 is 3.70. So most of the concentration of responses fall near the uh, 4 as the scale for the Likert scale. Because as you can see on responses, most of the uh, frequencies are concentrated on number four so that's the reason why the weighted mean is near to four and to be able to uh, get the weighted mean of the succeeding statement number two to ten you do not need to encode the formula for every single cell again okay so all you just need to do is to click the first result and then drag it down until statement number ten and instantly you will get the weighted mean for every statement number for every succeeding statement number and as you can see the reason why we do not just add all these numbers and then divided divided them by four is that you'll always get the same result so that's the difference between the mean and the weighted mean because in weighted mean you are multiplying each data to a particular scale or rate so that you'll get where the concentration is being focused. So for example, we need to add 24 and 4 and, uh, sorry, uh, let's use the cell. So we need to add, for example, this one plus this one plus this one plus this one. Then let's close it, divide them by 4, for example, because that's how we normally get the average. Then enter, so you'll get 7.5 here. 
and when you drag it down you all get 7.5 as your mean so that's not the right thing the right thing to do is to first multiply each response or frequency to a specific scale so after getting the weighted mean one of the biggest questions on our research would be not only to specify the weighted mean for each statement but also to get the general trend okay of the responses for this particular set of statement so basically the best thing that we can do is to uh, add all the weighted mean and then uh, divide them by 10 to get a single mean that would represent all the statements from numbers 1 to 10 so that is easy you'll just do a simple averaging like adding all the uh, involved numbers and then dividing that by the uh, number of data that you've added so in this case you just need to encode the equal sign and then average and then you need to have an open parenthesis and then click the first data that you want to average and then drag all the data that you need to include close that and then enter okay the averages of the weighted means for statement number 1 to 10 is 3.12 so 3.12 is the mean or the average for all the weighted mean for every statement number so I hope you would understand how uh, important it is to differentiate the weighted mean and the mean and also how to get and compute the weighted mean for your research work specifically for your survey questionnaire so thank you very much for watching this particular video of mine so please click subscribe on my channel so that you'll be updated with future tutorials that i will include in this channel so thank you very much and god bless all Thank you.